Hi guys, in here and today <laughs> we have a little sit down like coffee talk, but with my water. Let me go get my water. I I'm not prepared. Hold the phone. Okay, I got my water right here. I just got done doing an Ipsy Glam Bag for August unbagging for my beauty channel. If you don't know, I have a like a beauty slash unboxing channel. Uh, I always put it in the description box, but I'll also pin a comment just in case you're interested. I was going to do a vlog, but of course it's raining. I live in Jersey and it's always raining. Let me look at the weather. Where's my phone? Oh my goodness. My phone's getting ready to die. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's going to be 75% uh, chance of rain. So let me tell you where I've been because I know some of you are like, Ann, where the heck have you been because you said you're going to do better in August? Well... <laughs> last Saturday okay I went grocery shopping you guys remember that right I'll leave the vlog down below in case you haven't seen it and I bought a watermelon at the grocery store but I had remember I went to Walmart and then I went to shot right which is a grocery store and all that stuff well on the weekends Tyler always has off so he works Monday through Friday and he has off the weekend so I knew Tyler was home so anytime I go grocery shopping or anything like that I always call my my sons one of my boys or both of them or what have you and they carry all the bags in so I'm like well <laughs> I didn't call them I just figured all right let me just grab a, a bag or whatever and then go in the house and then I'll tell the boy to tell Tyler to go ahead and get the stuff because Isaiah was working my dumbass, I carried a watermelon on one hand and I had like bread, you know, like the rolls, right, in the other hand and I'm walking, okay? I go to, because I'm left-handed, so I have the watermelon in, in my hand, my left hand, and I go to put the bread in my left hand this way because I had to open up the gate, you know, we have that fenced in yard. Well, I trip over a damn branch. I'm telling you, those branches in the, my backyard are going to be the death of me, okay? And I literally dropped, I, like I went down on my ankle and I dropped the watermelon. Watermelon cracked and went everywhere on the dirt, okay? I wish it went like inside the fenced in yard because we have like a little um, a sidewalk leading up to the steps because that would have been easier to clean up, right? Then I could have took like a bucket of hot water or got the hose or what have you. No. It was in the, the dirt, okay, and it was a good one, and the night before, I looked up, it took me like over 40 minutes, like how can you tell like the best watermelon, and I'm telling you, I did my research, okay, and it was like, you know how the watermelon on the outside it has like a darker green and then a lighter green, and the darker green, the thicker that it is, the better it is, also, you don't want to get a watermelon that's oval. You want to get it more round. And you don't want to get it that has any white spots. If it has yellow or orange spots, that's good. It means it's like sweeter or something. So I found the perfect watermelon. Oh my God, I was so excited. And when it cracked, I seen it was like all nice and red and juicy. And I thought, my luck, I'm going to get ants watch. So like I'm digging a hole to put the... Uh, it, it was a mess. It was a mess. It was a mess. Okay? my right ankle that I like that my ankle went in I had a prior injury many years ago in 2005 I was in a really bad car accident that's the accident that uh at the time Isaiah was 12 months old and he broke both his ankles he was in a coma for three days Lexi broke her nose like it was a big big thing I hurt my back all of that stuff I hurt my neck but I also hurt my ankle. I had to get surgery on that ankle because, you know, trying to, somebody ran a stop sign and I would try to get on the brake. So I pounded it to get on the brake. That's your first reaction, right? Because I had the right of way. So my foot was on the, the gas and to try to get on the brake, I slammed on it, which it didn't do anything. And so I hurt my, like the tendons or something in my, um, ankle and they did like this laser thing so it's already a prior injury so sometimes even when I'm walking all of a sudden like I just trip <laughs> it's like my foot goes numb I can't explain it and so anytime I walk a lot or um what have you going up and down the steps a lot of times like uh my ankle starts to swell so it's already like a prior injury there so that's why it swelled up like that well I that day <laughs> I didn't really do anything. And the next day, my ankle went down. I figured, well, it's probably because I just re-injured it or what have you. So my dumbass then was like, oh, well, let me go ahead and... 
scrub my banister, you know, and I'm going up and down the ladder, and then all of a sudden, my ankle swells up again because it didn't heal all the way yet. So, anyway, I've been in pain. Finally, today is the first day I woke up that it's not swollen or hurting that much, but if I go up and down the steps, I can feel it a little bit, so I figure, let me do one more day without driving or anything like that, so... I literally, I don't know if I sprained it or what, but hurt my ankle because I tripped over a damn stick and the watermelon went everywhere. And then my Tyler was so mad at me. He was like, Mom, why didn't you just call me or go? Why did you even carry the watermelon in? I'm like, well, I was trying to be helpful. I'm like, trust me, lesson learned, you know? I don't know what I was more mad at, tripping over that those damn sticks or my watermelon that I it took me like a good 10 minutes picking out a watermelon in the store. Anywho, so I haven't really been doing anything. Now, last night I did like do a deep clean of the kitchen. I cooked and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you know, I'm the type I can't sit still. But I do have some good news. What happened to me last night? So Lexi goes back to work, I think next week or the following week. I'm not sure. You know, she had surgery. And anyway, she drove me to the store because, you know, I got to milk it a little bit, right? We went to Target, okay? Because I just had to get a couple things. And I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of going to the same three stores. Walmart, Wawa, ShopRite. <laughs> Let's switch it up and go to Target. And I just had to get like a, I wanted to get like a new shower liner and, um, you know, like little things for the house that I needed. And plus, I just wanted to get out of the house. I was in the bathroom aisle and then I was looking at shower curtains, which I didn't get. I just got the liner. You're, you're so proud of me. I didn't buy anything that I did not need. So anyway, I'm in that aisle just looking though, you know, because I might want to like paint my bathroom or something, you know, change up the color or do something. I don't know. This guy, he looks at me and I look at him. We just smile, you know, and uh, he starts asking me questions, you know, uh, about the bathroom. You could tell he was trying to make conversation. Very nice guy. And I'm talking to him and stuff. And then he looks, he goes, oh, he goes, are you married? He said, uh, he said, uh, are you married? And I looked at him because it caught me off guard. And he was like, oh, I don't mean to be offensive or anything. I don't see a wedding ring. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm divorced for about eight months now. I said this past January. And he goes, oh, I'm divorced too. I've been divorced for about two years. And then we just started talking and he was a very nice guy. And anyway, he <laughs> asked for my phone number. I didn't give him my phone number, but I got his because I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not ready to date or anything like that. But this is so funny. Okay. You're not going to believe this. First of all, he is somebody that you would not think I would ever date, okay? But look-wise, not that he's a bad-looking guy, but let me just put it this way. Back in the day, you know, I, I like the bad boys and, you, you know, like the drug dealers and all that. That's why I got myself in all that trouble many years ago, right? And when I met my, my ex-husband, you know, uh, it wasn't that I wasn't attracted to him, but he was just a different type of guy. Like, he never was drunk before in his life, never did any drugs. I mean, the most he ever took was the ibuprofen. 800 like never took a pain pill um you, you know just very never got in trouble very different and so i thought okay well maybe you know i'm liking the wrong type of guy maybe if i go out outside of what i like i don't know the right way to put it you know maybe that's that that's what i need well we all know how that turned out but this guy he had like not he like reddish brown hair not like what they call like ginger but like like kind of like that like reddish brown hair blue eyes he, he's pale he didn't have he doesn't have like freckles or anything and he's tall i guess about 5 11 maybe six foot something like that a lot taller than me i come up like about right here so i don't know whatever i don't know and i'm five foot three and three quarters um and I asked him, like, oh, I said, well, what do you do for a living? You know, we're talking and stuff. I thought I was going to pass out. He is a correction officer. Okay? Now, we all know I was a convicted felon many years ago. Okay? Over 25 years ago. And how I used to get in trouble and everything. It's kind of like, I mean, if he said he was a cop, you know? It's like, I am not his type of a cup of tea you know what I mean like totally opposites and so when he said that I was like really and he's getting ready to retire in a couple of years and stuff and you know like I, we did, I didn't get into my full background or anything like that but it, I, I think he's seen my face when he said he was a anything like criminal justice anything like that it's like ooh. 
you know, I get PTSD. Of course, of my own, my own self, you know. And anyway, so I don't know if I should call him or not. He's not dating. I mean, that's what he says. But I mean, I don't know how true it is. Um, he has two children. Uh, the youngest is 17. And the other one, I think, is 23 or 24. I don't remember. I mean, we were talking for a little bit. And it was so funny because Lexi was waiting out in the car. Lexi texted me. And she was like, where are you? I'm like, oh. Like, I totally forgot. And anyway, so that's when he was like, well, can I have your number? And I was like, well, let me get your number. And anyway, he gave it to me. And I haven't called him yet, which I won't. I'll wait a few days. I mean, I don't want to look desperate. But I don't even know if I want to. Like, I don't even want, I don't even know if I'm ready. I don't know. They say God puts people in your life when you're not looking. And I'm definitely not looking. But I, I don't, I just don't know, you know. I, I. What should I do? Like, do you think it's too soon? I mean, we, me and my ex-husband have been separated for a year and a half now. Um, but legally divorced since January of this year. So it's been a minute, and I haven't dated or talked or even gave my phone number out to anybody. But I just, I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know? I don't know. But I guess there's, a, then I thought, well, there's nothing wrong with being friends. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should call them or... I, I, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. So that's what's been going on with me. And I wanted to pop on here real quick and tell you what happened. That, you know, I was asked on a date. Kind of. I don't know. But I I, I, it, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I When he said correction officer, I was like, <laughs> but maybe that's what I need in my life, you know? The only thing that, that would ever stop me from dating somebody... Um, is if they were like atheists or something um you know i don't care like what religion you are as long as you believe in god you know my grandmother used to always tell me she said and you can't go for looks because when you get older it looks go you know you have to look for you know how somebody treats you their personality and all this type of stuff and i as i'm aging i like I, I said before in my other vlogs, like I definitely get what my grandmother and my mother used to try to tell me, you know, and it's true. So it's like now I don't look at that like, I mean, I have to be somewhat attracted to you. Let's keep that 100. You know what I mean? But I don't care about looks anymore. You, you know, as long as you can make me laugh, you're nice, you're honest, you're loyal, right? Uh, you help. I, I want to help me. I don't want somebody that I'm, I want to take care of you know what i mean that's not going to happen anymore i don't need anybody to take care of me but i want to help me you know what i mean uh if we go on dates or whatever or somebody asks me to go out to dinner he's paying you know <laughs> not that i'm paying well, you know um so that is that. You know, it's so funny. Sometimes I'll see little comments or what have you where people say, oh, your kids take care of you. And it's like, you know what? Let's talk about this, right? Now, my kids are, right? Isaiah's 20, Lexi's 24, Tyler's 28 years old, right? Now, I believe a kid should pay rent if they're out of high school. Now, I don't make my kids pay rent until they're 21. So Isaiah doesn't really pay rent yet. Lexi pays rent. Tyler pays rent. Okay. But Isaiah is responsible for his car payments, his car insurance, his cell phone, things that he wants, like his own clothes, all that type of stuff he pays for. And Isaiah works, plus he's putting himself through school, you know. But like I said, he has to pay his own bills. And I don't, I think an adult child, if they're living at home, I think they should pay rent. And the money that I get from my kids goes to bills. That's the truth, you know. But there's nothing wrong with that. You have to teach kids responsibility. You have to. You can't just let them live, like, you know, just buy whatever they want and not know bills. And then when they get out on their own, they're not going to want to pay bills or know how to pay bills, you know. I remember when I turned 18, I had to start paying rent. That was the rule at my mom's house when you turn 18. And I had to pay $75 every two weeks because I worked at Walmart when I was when I was that age. And I think we got paid, it was like $6.15 an hour or some or $6.50 an hour, something like that. I don't remember. $6.25. I know it was like $6. And um, I used to get so upset. Like $75, I got to pay $75, you know. But I am so thankful now because that taught me responsibility. See, pay in my own way. And I understand now why they did that. Because I don't know if they weren't so hard on me, would I be able to even like 
support like I supported my three kids growing up like I didn't get child support like that I mean Isaiah's dad owes me close to seventy thousand dollars right now and his child support's over you know that's what's in the rears like I didn't get help like that and I did it all on my own without a man's help you know now yes I would have liked to have a man's help I would have liked to have help but I was able to do it I didn't have my hand out you know now my mother and grandma did help me as well here and there but I but you guys know what I mean I didn't depend on a man I always paid my bills because my mother and them taught me responsibility and th like I said there's nothing wrong with that my kids have to pay me on the first you know no ends ifs or buts because I want to teach them like if you get your own place if you have a mortgage or rent that's when it's due and they also pay their car payments, their other, but you know, what have you. But yeah, I make, t I, Tyler pay, he pays me $1,000 a month. That is what he has to pay me, okay? And then every three months when the house taxes are due, I make him pay a couple hundred dollars extra more. Tyler makes, he makes the same amount that Lexi and Isaiah make together. Tyler makes very good money. He has got a very good trade, okay? So he can afford $1,000 and none of my kids have any children. You know what I'm saying? So, um... And like I said, then I use that money to pay the bills. But it cracks me up when people say that. And it's like, but if my kids didn't pay any bills and I took care of them at that age, then somebody would say something. It's like very weird to me. And so what? My kids take care of me. But that just shows me when my kids get married, they're going to make good husbands. They're going to take care of their family and their wife. That's what I'm teaching my boys. And if anybody has a problem with it, then maybe you need to look at your own life and the own background and how, how your kids are, you know? And don't judge when you don't have adult kids because you don't know what you're going to do or what's going to happen in your life. I say that all the time. You may be married now, but you never know what's going to happen five, ten years from now. You don't know if your spouse, one day gets in a car accident and passes away, goes to sleep and not wakes up. We never know what's going to happen. And then what are you going to do? That's why you can't judge people or talk about people because you don't know what's going to happen in the next year, the next month, the next week. You don't know. And even if I made 100000 a year or a million dollars a year, I would still charge my kids rent because I want to teach them responsibility, okay? But they also have money in, in the savings. Their credits are good, you know? And I think it's dumb to go ahead and move out and pay all this money for rent or what have you when everything's so high. When we want, we, enjoy, we make it work and all of us like our living arrangement you know the the only rule that I have is you can't bring somebody over and they can't spend the night I meant to say they can come over but they have to leave by a certain time and they are not allowed to spend the night like Lexi ain't allowed to have a boyfriend spend the night my boys aren't allowed to have a girlfriend spend the night I mean they can come over during the day but they have to leave by a certain time I don't care if my son's 28 that is the rule and that's just how it is they all have to leave by 11 o'clock at night if you don't like it, then get your own place. You know, that is my only rule. Of course, like, don't do drugs and all that stuff. But they don't do drugs or smoke cigarettes anyway. But, you, you know, I don't want my boys to turn out like my ex-husband did. I'm sorry. And um, I don't feel bad about teaching my kids responsibility. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. This is short and sweet. I just wanted to come on and tell you about what happened with my ankle. I can't believe it. And also about, you know, what should I do? Should I, like, maybe I'll wait and see if I'll see him again? Sh should I wait a few days? And then if I do call him, like, what do I say? Hi, I'm the Target girl. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know down below what I should do. All right, I'm going to get off of here. Starting tomorrow, I'll be driving. My ankle should be okay. Like I said, it doesn't hurt right like right now. I don't feel anything. But if I was to go up and down the steps, it's still a little sore. But I think by tomorrow, I should be okay. So, and let me know because I think also about going doing some live streams. What do you guys think of that? Do you guys even like live streams anymore? Let me know. All right, guys, please thumbs up this video. It really does help me out. Or thumbs it down. That helps me out as well. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really does help me out. Even if it's just an emoji, it would mean the absolute world to me. And to my co-host, Miss Aura, a.k.a. Ori, a.k.a. a lazy girl. We're all lazy. It's raining out, and you know how that is. It's like a blah kind of day. 
Also, let me know down below, if you have adult children with you, do you charge them rent? Let me know. And if you do, like what age? Do you wait till they're out of high school when they're 18 or what? Let me know down below. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. Never let somebody take you out of your character. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Bye. What, Rob? What's the matter? Oh, I love you. I love you so much. You're so tired. You're doing the army crawl. You're doing the army crawl. All right. You ready to go downstairs? Do you want to go downstairs? Okay. <laughs> Bye.